What is going on everybody? It's David Palmer, the Leo King, and I've been doing talks lately, like talking about spiritual things and trying to branch out a little bit off astrology. Climate, politics, the environment. At the end of the day, I just want to talk about the environment we live in. Now, whenever we hear the term environment, everybody starts going, oh my gosh, the trees and the forest, the oceans, stuff like that. Well, the term environment is the whole entire world we actually live in, in my opinion. So, whenever I hear the term environment, I'm like, okay, how the world is reflecting back to me. Because whenever we hear about climate right now change, or the world of politics, or just even the world that we live in, the truth is, is it's just a reflection of what's happening deep inside our collective conscious, which over the last three years, since 2012, since a galactic shift, since Saturn that entered Scorpio with a North Node conjunction, by the way, that was a big deal in 2013 and 2014, with solar eclipses in Scorpio, in the middle of a Pluto and Uranus square that happened for three years, in the middle of Jupiter square Saturn, uh, yeah, I would say that uh, not easy. Rough, very difficult, and so difficult that, of course, the externalization of all of us going through this internal struggle and difficult aspects is going to be an environment that is going to be chaotic, that is going to be not truly aligned in the same way it was before, when things were easier. But, if you look at the astrology, and if you look at the progression of the transition of energies that we're going through, of course the environment has been going through a steady shift. Because the environment that we live in is going through a major shift point. So it's going to change. It's going to be different. There's no way to avoid it. See, I think what I think uh, people have difficulty uh, hearing is that, we, oh, we, I could have avoided that. I wish I could have avoided that. Or we as humans can avoid this. Well, in my opinion, because at the end of the day, nobody truly knows everything this world has to offer exactly as, as far as every answer to it. I don't know every answer. But I can tell you that through all of my research and through what I do through my lecture series and what I see and the way that the universe works that you would be pretty blind if you did not believe that fate and destiny but more importantly that the universe is in control here. Time is in control. We are in a Saturn ruled reality. It's a difficult one. Time is our controller. More importantly, everything is slowed down to experience it physically and see it and touch it and smell it. So it's like, it's not like reality is like this, uh, you know, other experience like we could have in other realities. Imagine if all the planets were realities, what those kind of realities would be like. Saturn's is colder and it's darker and it's slower. But there's a weird beauty to Saturn and its rings. And I don't think no, nobody ever talks about the beauty of Saturn. Uh, that Saturn actually makes it real. That this is the only reality where we can make something real. That a human being can come down here and experience sunglasses and make it real and experiencing and wear them while using an amazing, awesome camera while being in a human body that's got a structure to it, a skeleton, right? That's what Saturn rules have teeth that are hard to chew, the food to eat, to ingest. You know, this is the only reality that there is that can do all that. But while you're in that reality, and you get to experience this, these things, I hate to kind of maybe actually bring this up, because some people might disagree with me, but do you really think that the universe to create a full reality to experience everything gives you the full driver's license of it? Because what would happen 
it could get destroyed. And I think people need to stop worrying so much about the whole world ever being destroyed because I don't think that it will come from some free-willed human explosion of whatever somebody does. You know, that this all is predestined life and the events that we go through. And you know what? I think it's hard for people to hear that because they would go, why would God ever do something horrible, you know? And it's not that God sitting there planning things that are horrible, but you know, things like Pangea to move the continents, traumatic events, but that's where change happens. And there are beautiful moments and beautiful times in life, just like noon is a beautiful time during the day. But you know what, 3 a.m. In the middle of winter is a pretty cold and horrible moment. I, I'll be honest. Right now, it's getting cold right now. I want to leave. It's, the sun's going down. So when you just look at time and how time works, there's moments in life where it's not perfect and it's not exactly the brightest part of the life that we want. And as humans, we want, of course, Leo, we want 2 to 4 p.m. when the peak of the day is and it's sunny and it's bright and the pool's going and everybody's having fun and laughing and we just had lunch and it's like perfect. But this reality doesn't work that way. It's not that 24 7. This reality will always, no matter how much you're stuck in it, go through time and go through the cycle and go through transitions. And so, the environment we live in and what we go through is something that cannot be avoided. The politics and the way that politics and people and, and the things that they talk about and the, the situations that we're in right now cannot be avoided. It's all part of this weird time cycle that we live in and for some reason we have to go through it. And for some reason it's an externalization of what we've all been going through internally. So instead of looking at it as so externally, like, oh my God, the world's horrible and da 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 why don't you look at your own inner world and the weird aspects that you're dealing with inside and how that actually is just crystallizing externally into the world. And that we're at a time in our lives where this is getting pretty extreme now because I think that the universe has really pressured and pressured and pressured and pressured us so internally that man, now we're ready to break out open and of course it's gonna be chaotic because right when we get out of this cage, so much happened to us in the dungeon. So much happened to us in our deep inner worlds that this externalization now is about to get extreme. Sure, the positive is that we're out of the cage. The negative of this is, wow, the externalization of things is gonna be extreme now because of the extreme torture I think a lot of people went through internally and shifting. And it's not easy shifting into a new age. It's not easy having a galactic shift happen because literally, you, you know, I do lectures on this. Please watch my Conscious Life Expo in LA uh, from this year because literally I describe how the human body, the soul, and more importantly, the evolution of time and this galactic shift is the number one thing to pay attention to. And the number one thing to pay attention to is not the environment, is not the earth, but the whole universe and where it's shifting and the galactic consciousness that's happening right now. And to not get fooled and trapped down here. And to rise above that and start to see where we're going and where this earth is going and where life's going. And that's not easy, I think, for I think the common understanding of the world right now, and I think that all these chaotic and very weird events are starting to happen because it's gonna Whatever happens, bring everybody to that place. You know, World War II, when it happened, brought everybody to the end to create the UN. That was the main reason World War II happened. Now, a bunch of crappy events happened. So maybe, yes, we could probably go through a million other things of why it happened. But at the end of the day, it was Roosevelt. Uh, it was, uh, you know, uh, what's his name from England? Uh, whatever his name, Churchill, and believe it or not, Stalin, all sitting together creating the UN at the end when Germany was defeated and Japan got defeated. That's what happened. So weird, crazy events happened to finally get us to this place of, oh, kind of collectively understanding how the world should be. So we have to go through extreme, weird, traumatic events to get it to a place that will actually get us where we need to go. And we're about to step into 
seeing what that's about to be as we all are stepped into Sagittarius now we're all opening up and you know what's going to happen now is this externalization this opening up is going to bring us to a place where people have you know had so much crazy internalization happening that all of it's all about to be thrown out spewed out and with all these difficult squares over to the Gemini energy it means that we're all going to not understand it correctly it's going to be a little bit weird but you know what we all have to go through the experience. We all need to go through the adventure. We all need to go through watching. Um, I, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know how to say it any better, but it's not that like, you know, we keep thinking that maybe aliens will intervene or that God's going to intervene, but God's watching us be, you know, grow in a way that's never been done before. This is the next height. Of course, there's seven billion people on the planet. What more than a better, what more than a better time to actually have humans grow like they never have before, and bring events that make us grow even more. That's my take on what's going on right now and how life is going on and just how to kind of understand what's going on instead of getting lost into the basic mind of oh my gosh, the environment's horrible right now because of us and what we're doing to it. That is the most microscopic look at what's going on. Anyway, if you want to get me on my applications and watch my daily horoscopes, you can get that at theleoking.com or leoking.looksack.com or just go to the Apple or uh, Android store. Thank you so much for all the support. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on my next report.